Good evening. I'm Tim Brewster, senior pastor here at First United Methodist Church. I want to, on behalf of this congregation, welcome you uh, to our to our church. We are glad that you're here with us this evening. And I want, on behalf of our community, on your behalf, uh, to thank those who have made this evening possible. Um, Alia Salem, who's vice president of the board of the Islamic Speakers Bureau. Reverend Melinda Veach with the Tarrant Area Community of Churches. Kappa, that is Clergy and Police Alliance. The Tarrant Baptist Association. The Multicultural Alliance. Fort Worth Independent School District, and all the faith-based organizations and faith communities in our area. We thank them for their work in putting this evening together and making it possible. I want to thank you for being here, and I want once again to say welcome to you. Good evening. My name is Alia Salem. I represent the Islamic Speakers Bureau. I have had the privilege to partner with several city departments and faith-based organizations to help coordinate this evening's gathering. Tonight's purpose is simple, to gather together as an entire community to remember and honor the innocent lives that were taken in Newtown, Connecticut on Friday, December 14, 2012. It is critical that we come together, regardless of our religious traditions or beliefs, and share in a moment of catharsis and healing so that we not only say goodbye to 27 of our fellow citizens, but so we are also reminded of how very short and unpredictable this life can truly be. As a person of God-conscious faith, events such as these evoke an immediate return to the remembrance of God and His ultimate will for us all to return to Him. As a Muslim, when any calamity befalls us, we are instructed to recite this simple prayer as a reminder, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raja'un, which means, Verily we are from God, and verily to Him we shall all return. Last week, 27 souls were returned to Him, and as an unjust as their departure was, I found comfort that they are in the care of the one who is most just. Tonight you will hear from some of our city officials, faith leaders, community members, artists, and we will come together to offer our final respects to the victims of the shootings in Newtown. Without further ado, I would like to introduce an interfaith leader in her own right and our beautiful city's mayor, Mayor Betsy Price. Dr. Brewster, thank you for hosting tonight. Ollie, thank you for helping organize it. You know, Fort Worth is an incredible city because we celebrate our diversity, and and it's nice to see so many of you here tonight. I want to thank everybody that's involved. My fellow council members, Joel Burns is here, and Danny Scarth, and if the others are here, I've missed them. But all of you who have come out and cared in the last week for the families, the brothers and sisters who were lost in Connecticut, This is all about supporting our friends. They may be 1,600 miles between the two cities, but the pain of this senseless disaster has been felt over and over in the last week right here in Fort Worth. Likewise, I believe our collective prayers for peace and love can span that distance between the two cities and encourage their community in the major loss that they've suffered, to know that other communities care, are diverse, reach out, and loving to them. There's very little that I can add to what's been said over the last week. You've seen it on TV, you've read it in the papers, and you've heard about it on the radio. It's been said extensively. But the love shared between the citizens of the United States is crucial. We will heal. And so I'm going to read the City Council and I and my faith-based cabinet, many of who are here tonight and worked hard on this, have sent a letter to Newtown on behalf of the citizens of Fort Worth. And I want you to hear that letter so you will know what we've told them from Fort Worth. The interfaith community and the faith leaders cabinet 
stepped forward at difficult times, and indeed they always have had, from the Wedgwood shoot shooting to gang issues, our interfaith community continues on your behalf to make us all proud and to represent what we do, especially in trying times like this. The letter reads, Dear First Select One, Patricia Lolador, our thoughts on behalf of the faith lead, Mayor's Faith Leader Cabinet and the citizens of Fort Worth, I would like to share with you that our thoughts and prayers are with the families of those affected by this tragic ev events that occurred December the 14th, 2012, in Newtown. While we will never truly understand such senseless tragedies, it is our hope that those affected will find some measure of comfort in knowing that they do not grieve alone. We in Fort Worth know firsthand the tragic and sudden life of innocent loss of innocent lives. It leaves deep scars across a community. Please know that we in Fort Worth stand with you and we offer, offer our heartfelt condolences, comfort and commitment in support of Newtown as you begin the long, arduous journey to recovery. As Americans, we often debate our privileges and our civic responsibilities, but faith is a common thread that binds us and indeed must bind all of us together. The book of Leviticus 19.18 teaches us, love your neighbors as yourself. Please know that our love and our prayers are with you tonight and every day going forward. And the citizens of Fort Worth send a heartfelt and caring, deep love for you. You are in our prayers and you will remain there. Thank you for being here to show your support for the people of Newport. It's my prayer that they might feel our love and our compassion tonight. May God be with each of you during this exciting time and sad time. Indeed, it is Christmas. Hanukkah is just fin finished and the other high holy days. But God must be and will be with the families of Newtown. And I will leave you with a simple Bible verse that I love and you all know. Faith, hope, and love abideth here. But the greatest of these is love. And indeed, Fort Worth is a loving and very caring community. Thank you for being here tonight, and thank you for the prayers for those who have been lost. Hello. My name is Carla K. Morton, and I have the great honor of being your Texas Poet Laureate. In times like these, it's only natural that, that we're drawn to poetry. Um, poetry is that is that thing that, that connects mankind to God that souls and souls and souls can connect with each other to. And I am, I am very honored to be here. It's, it's very difficult to write about something so horrible. And I found myself taking pen to paper, as I'm sure many of you do. And when, when this tragedy comes around, we wonder what we can do, and, and a poem came from me, and a friend of mine, Carolyn Mizell in Denton, is turning this poem into a Christmas carol. And I was excited that it was becoming a carol because carols are timeless and endless, and just as I hope the memories of all, that we've, all those that who've, who've gone on before us, all those that we've lost, we don't ever want to forget them. And it's titled 20 Angels, but it's dedicated to the honor of all those we've lost. Twenty angels. Twenty angels in the moonlight, dancing with your newfound wings. Let earth's sorrow turn to laughter. We know not what tomorrow brings. Hark! We hear, hark, we hear angels near, angels near. Hark, we hear, hark, we hear, let the bells ring. Twenty angels in the moonlight, you once walked 
this world like me. Now you are our Christmas angels, your sweet and tiny souls set free. Twenty angels in the moonlight, swinging high from star to star. Your love shines from every garland. Light our hearts wherever you are. Twenty angels in the moonlight, to God's glory we must cling. Teach us all to love each other. Give silenced bells their golden ring. Hark, we hear, hark, we hear angels near, angels near. Hark, we hear, hark, we hear, let the bells ring. Thank you. I am Rabbi Andrew Bloom of Congregation Avat Shalom and Shalom to each and every one of you. We cannot know why some people face tragedy in their lives while others seem to walk away unscathed. What we do know is life has meaning. There is a purpose for our being alive at this very moment. That is, why, that is what religion teaches us, and it teaches us to take our life and bring meaning to it, not for any reward, but rather because that is the artistry we are summoned to create. A violinist Yitzchak Perlman was about to begin a concert at Carnegie Hall. Just as his bow touched the strings, one of them snapped. Without missing a single beat, Mr. Perlman played the entire piece, transposing it entirely in his mind. At the conclusion of the concert, the audience stood and applauded for several minutes. In response, Mr. Perlman, a man who was stricken with polio as a child and walks with braces, quieted them and said simply, it is my job to make music with what remains. Tonight, we here must help the town of Newtown, in the light of this tragedy, make music once again. The notes of the future sympathy will be the, pre will be the precious and dear souls of the women and children who were murdered last week. It is now up to us to write the next chapters of their lives, and this we do by how we live our own lives. Although they will no longer be with us here physically on earth, their memories will always cont continue to be within us. We just need to listen and feel in a different manner. As their lives were a blessing, so too may their memories be a blessing now and forevermore. At this time, I would like to offer a prayer for the entire town of Newtown. Our God and God of our ancestors, creator of life, you have taught us that we are all made in your image, that each and every life is a precious treasure. And when even one human life is taken away by the monstrous actions of another human being, an entire world is destroyed. Our hearts are broken in the wake of the tragic deaths of the six adults and 20 children in Newtown, Connecticut, this last week. Entire worlds were indeed destroyed, children robbed of their futures, adults of their best years, in an act of senseless violence that took place in a building dedicated to caring for our children and preparing them for their futures. May your presence be felt among the entire town of Newtown and the families who grieve. Adonai, God in heaven, grant Newtown the strength and courage to face the difficult days ahead. Help us to find ways to lend our support and guide us to respond to this terrible tragedy in a way that promotes unity and cooperation among us. Help us find the wisdom and the courage to address the many challenges, both spiritual and social, that this tragedy presents the residents of Newtown, the families of the bereaved and injured, and to all decent and moral human beings wherever they may live. Help us to maintain our faith in the idea of tikkun olam, repairing of the world, that despite this and other tragedies that we bear witness to every day, we can, through our collective efforts, help to repair our broken world. And through our unity here tonight, let us remember that Newtown is not alone and that we, through our actions, will be there for them today 
and in the future. And let us say, Amen. I would like to introduce Chief Jeffrey Halstead, who has been instrumental in bringing together our community under several uh, multicultural programs within the Fort Worth Police Department. It is because of his leadership and the leadership within the Fort Worth Police Department that this evening was made possible. Chief Jeffrey Halstead. I stand here as a representative for all first responders in our community, uh, speaking with a voice that is very humbled because I know the pain that our first responders experience when they see a tragedy like this anywhere in the world, especially within our country. We all know what that scene probably looked like. We know the nightmares and the horrors that those first responders will carry with them for the rest of their lives. We can only imagine the pain that their families are going through and then to think of the victims of this tragedy and the unanswered questions they will have forever. What I'm most proud of within our first responder family is that here in your city, in this wonderful community that I am blessed to call home. Within hours of this incident occurring, your leaders in public safety were already creatively thinking ways to keep our children safer. I applaud former leaders not only within the city of Fort Worth, but as well as the public safety positions, because they had the vision of making Fort Worth one of the safest major cities in the United States. And we have officers in every school in Fort Worth, a middle school and a high school, and never ever would we even imagine this tragedy could occur to those young children. Like all of us as a first responder, when you see this, I still reflect on three strong words that gets us through our shift, enables our family to deal with what we experience and what we know those first responders are dealing with, but also very, very true as a victim or a relative of a victim. The first one is faith. Your faith can never, ever waver, and I am so proud of our interfaith leaders that stand in support of what I feel is a calling of God to serve our city. We pray for all the victims, the victim's family, and those affected by this tragedy. And I only pray that their faith grows in time and remains strong and vigilant through any aspect of this horrific incident. Another very, very strong belief I have is family. We are family. We are family. And I am blessed to be in a family of this profession. That family remains so strong and it remains the only method for us to deal with what occurs within our careers. I still have a hard time understanding a tragedy like this, and fortunately or unfortunately, I sat on a debriefing team after the Aurora, Colorado shooting with their police chief. A very, very small select group of police chiefs wanted to study this, and we saw the evidentiary photos And we know the pain of those first responders. And we stress that day the importance of family. In our profession, our community is part of our family. We exist to serve you. The toughest word for us to remember in times like this, but one we need to remember because of our belief and our faith, is forgiveness. It is so difficult for many of us to stand in any position of service, position of leadership, or position of power and understand that true forgiveness is the foundation and the basis of all humanity. With faith and family and forgiveness, 
I stand here in honor of all who serve in this profession, and I lift up every first responder with the sincerity of prayer and a blessing that they can remain strong as they move forward in their days. I am humbled to stand before you, but most of all, I am truly blessed to have the support of this wonderful community. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you all. Good evening, everybody. My name is Mujahid Bakash. I represent the Muslim community of Fort Worth Islamic Association of Tarrant County or IATC. And I am a clergy and police alliance Kappa member, proudly to say that, as my second family chief. In the name of God Almighty, the compassionate, the merciful, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wa la nabluwannakum bi shay'in min al-khawf wa al-ju'i wa naqsim min al-amwal, wa naqsim min al-amwal wa al-anfus wa al-thamarat wa bashir al-sabirin. الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا قالوا إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون أولئك عليهم صلوات من ربهم ورحمة وأولئك هم المهتدون the Fort Worth Muslim community joins with other fellow Americans grieving and praying for those who died, those children, innocent children, innocent people, adults, who died in this senseless tragedy took place in Newtown, Connecticut, and for their families to bear the unbearable as well as for our citizens of our beloved city of Fort Worth. We came here together with the desire to bring healing, comfort, and new hope. The Quran, Muslim, the, whole, Muslim, the Muslim holy book, revealed text telling us that God's mercy and compassion are always available for the one who seek it. Chapter 2, verse 186. Also, the Quran says to give glad tidings to those who patiently persevere when afflicted with calamity by saying, we belong to God and to him is our return. Such people surely will receive God's blessings and mercy, and they are the one who receive guidance. Chapter 2, verse 156, 157. What affected me as individual? as well as a Muslim needle. Because it doesn't have to be a Muslim or a Christian or a Jewish or any other faith as a human issue. The picture will never go away from my head. <coughs> that this innocent children, I'm very sure, no doubt, their parents, they bought their gifts for them and next week to receive it from that tree, under that tree. They're not going to be able to open it. They are deprived from such enjoyment. Why? We don't know. But I am here in Fort Worth, being here last 30 years, honored to be a member of this community and this city. I would like to pray for everybody, especially our city. Let's pray, please. Lord, we praise you for your greatness and goodness. Help us. Help us to be the instrument of your love so that our citizens of our city may experience your presence through this gathering. Lord, take us out of the darkness of our sins, ignorance, and weakness, and grant us the light of your hope love, and mercy. Our Lord, protect our city, our leaders, 
and its law enforcement community from all evils. Grant them your wisdom and guide them in their decisions. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver, deliver us all from the evil one. Help us to be strong and patient. Our Lord put not upon us a burden that which have, we have no strength to bear. Pardon us all. Grant us protection and have mercy on us. Whatever our circumstances are, allow us to stand all together in the circle of your light and love and share it with others. In your name, we invoke and pray. Amen. Now I would like to invite Dr. Dana Diaz to come up and speak on uh, behalf of the Fort Worth ISD. She is the Director of Student Engagement. Dr. Dana Diaz. Good evening. Buenas noches. On behalf of the Board of Education and our Superintendent, Mr. Walter Dansby, I would like to thank you for organizing this event on behalf of children. As you know, our schools have many planned events during this time of year, and Mr. Dansby is out visiting those schools, be, be doing the work that you have charged him to do. He wants you to know that the district works together with the city and the community to ensure that our children are protected. If we have any educators in the room, would you please stand? Any teachers? We would like to thank you for all of the work that you do. Do we have any students in the room? It's a few. Know that we work very hard for you. Like many of us next week, I'm going to spend the time with my friends and family for the holidays. And as family and friends normally do, they're going to ask me about my job and my health and my happiness. And of course, you know they're going to grill me. And I will proudly and enthusiastically share with them the amazing community in which I have been welcomed. I will brag about the professionals and the community members I have the pleasure of working with. Dedicated and hardworking folks whose commitment to a whole and healthy Fort Worth is visible and tangible. And I will share with them that if it wasn't for friends and colleagues, I wouldn't be able to do this work. Becky, Melinda, Gary, you know that. I will tell them that when I feel that I don't know, that all I have to do is call, and that I am simply never alone in this great gift we call work. The recent tra tragedy is a sad reminder about how fragile and delicate the web of life is. As you take the time to rejoice and rejuvenate with family and friends, please know that with gratitude and appreciation, I wish all of you the best new year. I am incredibly grateful for what you do for children in our community, and the unconditional support you give us to do this work. And I have a small prayer for children, a Baha'i prayer for children. O oh, thou kind Lord, these lovely children are the handiwork of thy fingers, of thy might, and the wondrous signs of thy greatness, O oh God. Protect these children graciously, assist them to be educated, and enable them to render service to the world of humanity, O oh God. These children are pearls, cause them to be nurtured within the shell of thy loving kindness. Thou art the bountiful, the all loving. May God bless all of you. Thank you. My name is Al Meredith. I've been the pastor at Wedgwood Baptist Church for 25 years and a citizen of what I tell everybody is the greatest city in the country. I've been asked to pray for the children 
It's a privilege to do so, but I would be remiss if my congregation would get on me if gathered in front of me this many first responders and I didn't tell you once again how grateful we are to you for your instantaneous, compassionate, professional response to us in our need. And I bless you. And I'm grateful for you. I want to thank all of you in advance for your gracious tolerance of me as I pray to my Creator and Redeemer in the way that I'm accustomed to. If you can pray along with me, I ask that you do so. And if your tradition doesn't allow it, then bow before your God and ask Him to bless the children. Can we pray? O Heavenly Father, Abba, we come before you with broken hearts tonight, Lord Jesus. I'm so grateful you're a prayer-answering God. Your word says that even before we call, you will answer, that your ear is inclined unto us, and your heart breaks with that which breaks our hearts. Thank you for your care, O God, for works of dust such as we. We want to pray for the children in Newtown tonight. For those, O God, whose school was so horrendously disrupted by madness, insanity, and violence. And I pray, O God, that you would wipe the memory of their siblings and schoolmates, their bodies riddled with bullets. God, if you can wash the seashores twice daily of every sea and ocean with the tides, Protect them from the trauma that these memories might bring and give grace and hope and healing once again. Lord, we see this violence spreading throughout our land, in our malls, in our movie theaters, in our homes, in our schools, and in our churches. There's no escaping it, Lord. God, deliver us from our warring ways. Tonight, I think, O God, of the children in the refugee camps of Gaza and the suburbs of Tel Aviv who wonder if the next bomb won't be their house going up and ushering them into eternity. Give them grace tonight. For the children of Afghanistan and Nigeria and even our own inner cities that wonder if the next drive-by won't see bullets whizzing into their bedrooms. Somehow, Prince of Peace, grant them peace. I want to pray for the children of Africa, Lord Jesus, orphaned already by the greatest pandemic this planet has ever seen, the curse of AIDS. Millions of them, if AIDS doesn't take their lives out of time, then malaria because they don't have water fit to drink. Oh, God, this is wrong. This is wrong, God. We plead for your mercy on our generation that can stand by and watch this happen to the littlest and most defenseless of us. I pray for millions of children that find themselves in the bondage of the sex slave trade around the world, and even in our metroplex. I pray for those, O God, who won't even have the chance to draw their first breath. Their life will be snuffed out because of their gender. God, this is wrong. And I'm astounded by man's inhumanity to man and the deceitfulness of our hearts, O oh God. Father, don't quite know how to pray it, Lord, but deliver us from those in authority that demand we beef up our security and then they slash our budgets to schools where we can't even hire teachers, much less security guards. O oh God, get our priorities straight, I pray. Deliver us from our nonchalance, from those hundreds of thousands, millions who suffer in the darkness of mental illness with no help and no hope. Forgive us. God, we may not all be brothers and sisters in faith, but we indeed are neighbors. And all of our faith traditions tell us that we must love our neighbors. Give us a spirit of cooperation. 
and of grace. And oh Lord, if you hear anything tonight, would you hear this prayer? Forgive me. Forgive me, O oh God. And I cry with the psalmist of old that you would create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew in me a right spirit that I might stand for righteousness for the children's sake. That I must not turn my head those who hurt for the children's sake. We must give our lives together for the children's sake. I pray this in the strong and precious name of the one who told us to suffer the little children to come unto him and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God, even Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Sometimes music can speak where words fail. So we thought of a song tonight that encompasses what all of us feel. It's entitled The Prayer, and it'll be performed by Nicole Popejoy and Anson Onishi from Southwestern Baptist Seminary and accompanied by Bradley Anderson. Listen as they sing.
with us, faith, so we'll be Islamic Speakers Bureau. I would like to invite Sophia Yunus, Ethan Johnson, and Corporal Tracy Knight at this time to join me. I will read the name of each of the victims, followed by their age, as our young participants light a candle in their honor. Corporal Tracy Knight will assist in honor of the first responders. Once I conclude reading the names, please join me in observing a moment of silence. Charlotte Bacon, six. Daniel Barden, seven. Rachel Davino, twenty nine. Olivia Engel, six. Josephine Gay, seven. Anna Marquez Green, six. Dylan Hockley, six. Don Hoshsprung, forty seven. Madeline Shu, six. Catherine Hubbard, age six. Chase Kowalski, age seven. Nancy Lonza, age 52. Jesse Lewis, age six. James Mattioli, age six. Grace McDonald, age seven. Anne Marie Murphy, age 52. Emily Parker, age six. Jack Pinto, age six. Noah Posner, age six. Caroline Previtti, age six. <coughs> Jessica Ricos, age six. Aviel Richmond, 
age six. Lauren Rousseau, age 30. Mary Sherlock, age 56. Victoria Soto, 27. Benjamin Wheeler, age 6. Allison Wyatt, age 6. Let us join together in a moment of silence. Would you all stand with me, please? No matter what our political or religious convictions are, we all agree we want God to bless this land. Would you sing with me? God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, white with gold. God bless America. I would like to thank all of those who shared in this event, either through their words, their performance, or their presence. I encourage everyone to walk away from this event, not only in thoughtful remembrance of the victims and their families, but also with a commitment to do your part as a community member to take action to make this world that we live in safer, more united, and stronger. Months and years down the road, long after the cameras and commotion are gone, the people of Newtown will still need to know that people care. Consider ways that you could help. I would like to thank all of those organizations and people who have helped in the planning of this event, and specifically all of our speakers and presenters, Reverend Melinda Veach with the Tarrant Area Community of Churches, the First United Methodist Church for opening your doors to accommodate this event and pulling all the stops to make it a success. And above all else, Lieutenant Robert Rangel and Corporal Tracy Knight. Along with the entire Fort Worth Police Department for their amazing support in championing our efforts to honor these victims in such a communal and beautiful way. Thank you all for coming. May God watch over the families of those lost in their time of sorrow, and may God bless you all and return your home safely. Thank you and good night.